Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can perform a Pearson Chi-Square test of goodness of fit using Microsoft Excel. Uh, I stored my data in column A, which is about marital situation of quite a few respondents. And the first thing we need is the number of categories, which in this case would be 5. Then I need to actually determine the observed counts for each of the possible options. I can use the count if function for that, so it's count if and then the range would be column A and the criteria would be uh, this one. Then I can simply copy paste this down or use the auto fill handle for that and later we might actually also need the total of all of these. Alt equals is a shortcut for sum so it sums them all up and that means I have a 1941 different uh, people responded to this question. And my expected frequency is going to be that everything would have been distributed equally. You can also type in one by one, but in this case um, I think all of them might have been equal or would like to know if any of them significantly different. So that's simply the total and use F4 to put the dollar signs everywhere divided by and then the number of categories and again F4 will put dollar signs around the column and the row. So 388.2 and put this down and as you can see if you add up all of these the sum is actually nine uh, 1941 again. Then we need the square difference as a ratio of the expected count. So this is going to be equals open the parentheses, then the observed frequency minus the expected frequency, close the parentheses, then use a square and then divide by the expected frequency again. Press enter and then copy paste this down. Then the chi-square value is this scary looking formula, but that's nothing else than simply adding all of these up. So equals the sum of all of these. And then again, that's 1249.13. The degrees of freedom is simply the number of categories minus one for a goodness of fit test. So that's this one minus uh, one. And then we can finally determine the significance. Uh, there are a few different ways. Uh, you can use the old chi uh, dist function, which will simply ask for the chi square value and the degrees of freedom. You could also choose to use equals one minus the chi square dot dist. That's the newer version, which again asks for the chi square value the degrees of freedom and if you want it to be cumulative or not in this case yes the one minus is because oh cumulative true and uh, why is it not closing yes uh, the one minus here is because uh, chi square dist will give you the left tail um, because we're actually more often in interested in the right tail there's actually a specific function to give you the right tail immediately and, and that one again requires a chi-square value and the degrees of freedom. So this is actually the updated version of the old chi-dist. You can also use chi-square test which is actually chi-square dot test and uh, for that you need to input the actual range which is uh, these versus the expected range which is these. So with this uh, last function, and as you can see the result is again the same, uh, with this last one you won't need to do all of this, however when you want to report the results you might actually need this one and this one as well, so then you still need to do all of this as well. I actually created a small user defined function that can do this, but it's, um, it's uh, I probably need to fix it a little bit because um, at the moment uh, it runs very slow. Uh, I'm going to see if it might actually work. Um, let me select and then as output I want a 1. And now most likely it's going to take a little while before I can actually show you guys. Um, it's actually crashed right now so 
um, just hoping that it will work otherwise this video is going to take way too long and I'm not that much into video editing so uh, bear with me and again as uh, it's taking so long because it's really going over those 19,041 uh, people the comma 1 shows me eventually the chi-square value if you would put in comma 2 it will give you the degrees of freedom and otherwise uh, it will give you the significance if you're interested in this uh, user-defined function um, drop a comment below uh, perhaps in the future I will actually upload this file in the description but um, for now, uh, this is it.